Guys, at the end of this episode is a big, big, big unveiling. And by at the end, I mean right now, look, it's the cover of my book. <laughs> book, book. Wow. 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 Ugh. Wow. Yikes. Oh, hello. Nothing like a cup of vodka and some yerba mate to make your body feel confused. Oh. Hey guys, this week on My Drunk Kitchen, we are celebrating the unveiling of the cover of Buffering, Unshared Tales of a Life Fully Loaded. If you haven't yet already, please, please, please go ahead and purchase your copy if you want to know um, all my thoughts and feelings. Now, as some of you may know, I do a lot of promotion. I go to a lot of interviews and they're like, wow, Hannah, you're so great and cool. How do you manage to be so great and so cool? And I'm like, I'm really not that great and definitely not that cool. And then after that, they're like, wow, Hannah, how are you so successful? You're so self-made. Wow, wow, you're so independent. Wow. Oh. And the fact of the matter is, is that I'm not a totally independent, solitary being that operates in the world. None of us are. And lately, this got me thinking, why is it that we so much value the importance of being independent? Why do we like to believe in businesses and entrepreneurs and all that stuff that are made just on one person's sheer drive and steely determination? When I found in my experience that I would not be as far as I I am by a long shot if it wasn't for the trust, love, and surrounding of the people around me. So I'm not actually so independent. I got a lot of great friends and lots of details about my great friends inside Buffering. Don't worry, they approved all of it, so. I mean, they haven't read it yet. They just said they trust me. And that's why this week in My Drunk Kitchen, I'm going to be making a stir fry because a stir fry is made of a bunch of different components all coming together to get in your mouth. Sorry guys, it's not even really a clever sexual innuendo joke at all. It's just that like, I've been single and just feeling the burn. No burn, there's no burn. <laughs> Okay, just start cooking. Step number one, chop up your chicken before you stop making kitchen. Check it out guys, I've prepped. Step number two, take a pan, heat it up to medium heat and add some cooking spray. Yeah. Next, add your chopped garlic, minced ginger, and pre-cut chicken because good job doing all that prep, Hannah. I'm proud of you, you're doing a great job. Can you guys tell I'm working on um, my affirmations lately? Because I am, in a big way. In a big, big way. I literally, Tell myself, I love you in the mirror. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Trying to learn how to do it. Oh yeah. Ooh, garlic. This is the ginger. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep, yep. Ooh, this smells like the tea they give you after yoga. Who am I? And minced ginger. Yeah. Step number three, celebrate your tiny victories. Ooh. Oh. Next, chicken. Yeah, slop heap away. Now put the stir and stir fry. You guys can't see, but I'm lightly browning the chicken on either side. I feel so fancy and also so fulfilled. Not only about this chicken, but in life in general. Next step, it's your eyeball. Don't do that. Now that your chicken is slightly cooked, take three quarters of a cup of chicken broth, soy sauce, and sugar, and add it on top of your beautiful mess. Ah, how I touched it with my hand. I have bad depth perception. And, ooh, three quarters-ish of a cup-ish, maybe, yeah. Arr, soy. Ooh, soy sauce. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just like eyeballing the amounts. Um, Mainly because I don't really want to uh, go read the recipe again right now. I just want to turn up the heat a little more. It's going to turn, turn out just fine. Probably, maybe. Now that reminds me of a thing I want to say. You know how like you're good at things, but then you're bad at some other things? For me, I'm bad at like waiting for stuff. It's true. I'm bad at taking my time. I hate taking my time. I'm always like, no, now or never. Never? Fine. But that's, that's silly. That's impatient. The best things take time. Babies. They take like nine months. <sighs> All that time, what do you get? The miracle of life. <laughs> and sugar. Stir, stir, stir. Cover and cook for five minutes. <laughs> Pour some vodka in here. In the name of junk. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> anyway, okay, so your chicken over here is like the way you start out. This is like the stuff you're given to make of life what you will. 
So, you got some chicken and maybe too much broth, nobody can tell. The rest of your ingredients, like the vegetables, are like the people that you bring into your life, you know? There are some people that are gonna give you bell. What? The vegetables represent Oof, heartburn. No, they don't. The vegetable, stop moving. The vegetables represent like the other factors in your life. For instance, like your, you know, um, friends and uh, career stuff, you know? So you get to pick what your other ingredients are gonna be, you know? Why do I wait? I ate that garlic. Oh. Stirring twice, it says stirring twice, I didn't do that. Did you guys know that one of the stories featured in Buffering is the night that Grace and I got tattoos together at 4 a.m. in Canada? Good thing I wrote it all down because I don't think I would have remembered. Stirring number two, wow! That, you're doing that, that looks amazing. The next step is simply add vegetables. Hey, yeah, 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 get in there, get it. Ooh, I love cairn, cairn. That's my new way of saying corn. That's how you say canned corn. Corn! Oh. Oh. Bam! I got some canned baby corn. I could have gotten fresh corn, but I chose to get canned baby corn. Hey guys, if I go on a book tour for buffering, do you think I should bring an opener? You know, get the audience warmed up. Can! 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 Da 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 da! Yeah. Da 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 da! This joke's about can can. Baby corn! Yeah! Okay, is it just me or is baby corn the most adorable thing on this entire planet? Like, look how tiny its little kernel buds are. Can you guys see? Oh, I don't like that it does this. Now wait another five minutes for those ingredients to finish doing whatever they're doing in there. Having a weird orgy sounds like. Oh. Clean as you go. When I say clean as I go, I really just mean throw it in the sink and wake up tomorrow thinking, oh good, I got everything in the sink. Okay guys, now, the next step in this crazy recipe. Now, the next step in this crazy recipe is to add cornstarch to a quarter cup of chicken broth, stir it to make it thick, and then add that thick sauce to this pre-existing thingy over here. Add one quarter cup of broth, two teaspoons of cornstarch, mix it together, and then add it to your pre-existing thingy. There you go. Give it one last stir and put it on top of a rice of your choosing and then go, wow, look at that, doesn't that look great? Wow, doesn't that look great? <sighs> also, I added baby carrots. Sorry, I forgot to add them earlier, but you know. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, take a bite of your amazing delight. <sighs> oh. Mmm, 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 yeah! Mm. Oh my god, you guys, I love stir fry, and now I know how to make it. This is like Eggs Benedict all over again. Oh man, you guys, I'm so happy right now. And also sweaty, Oh, but mostly happy. Good job. This is dry chicken. Oh. Okay guys, in summation, what have we learned? One, don't overcook the chicken. It's too dry. I taste it. I taste it everywhere in my mouth. It's like a fine sand, like a protein sand. Oh. Number two, you may start out with ingredients that maybe aren't your preference of choice, you know? If you were like, if it were up to me, I wish I came from a, an organic chicken family. You know, you don't get a choice in that, but you do get a choice in the ingredients you continue to add to your life, life pan. Number three, sometimes it's not about the ingredients at all. Sometimes it's about the boundaries you set and how you choose to process them. Boy, Hannah, boundaries plus processing, what does that sound like? You guessed it. Go ahead, hit the drums. Buffering. Boundaries plus processing equals buffering. So if you guys haven't got a copy of my book, Buffering, you don't have to. But if you would like to, you can. It's available now and this is what the cover looks like and I think it's beautiful and I love it. But also, I'm so nervous about people reading this book. But also, I'm ready to let go. Also, I have a lot of feelings. Also, subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And above all else, please remember this. Have a great day. Because it's one day at a time. Peace out. A town down. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, good night.